This video is on perturbation training as described by the University of Delaware in order to enhance the neuromuscular control and postural control after a lower extremity injury, specifically about the knee. So we're in step on. Okay, so what I want you to do, Priscilla, is I'm gonna be moving the board underneath your feet. I want you to stay in a nice kind of soft leg stance, which means your knees are gonna be slightly bent. Good. You're gonna be staring straight ahead for me, okay? Your goal as I push the board is to make sure that it doesn't rock back and forth too much, okay? I'm gonna go in a specific order. I'm gonna say front, and then I'm gonna push the front of the board gently like this. And then I'm gonna say back, and I'm gonna push the back gently like that, okay? All I want you to do is make sure you can try to keep the board as level as possible, okay, without doing too much else with the arms and the trunk. Okay, you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, here we go. Good stance. Front, good, back. Front, back. Front, back, good. Not too much bend in the knees, good. Front. Okay, Priscilla, so settle in, nice soft knee, eyes straight ahead, and I'm going to be giving really big amplitude and, and increasing the speed as we go, okay? And go ahead and start throwing the ball. Good. Good. Get that board parallel after you feel the push. Perfect. Good. Nice job. And don't over flex the knee. That's it. Nice. Good. Okay, nice job. Alright, so you did a nice job with that. Again, I'm going to be pushing the board. 
I'm going to back off just a little bit because now we're going to make it a little bit harder by introducing um, a soccer volley. Okay. okay. So go ahead and stand with your knees slightly bent. Good. Eyes straight ahead. Go ahead and do a couple volleys first. Good. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to work to keep the board parallel. Nice job. Okay. And I'm going to start the perturbations. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Good. Good. Nice job. Way to keep your balance. Good. Good, Priscilla. Nice job. Good. Here we go. We go forward and left. Good. And back and right. Good. And we're going to go forward and right. Good. Back and left. Okay. Again. Forward, left. Back and right. Good. Left. And right. Left. And right. Good. One more time. Left and right. So first we're going to do all directions in kind of a block fashion. So I'll go forward, back, left, right, and then we'll start doing some different directions. Okay. Okay. So go ahead on one foot. Okay. Here we go. Good. That's okay. Keep that knee nice and soft. Good. Good. Okay, one more time. Good. Okay, so now we're going to introduce some rotations and diagonals. You ready? Yeah. Good. Okay, one more time, rotations and diagonals. Here we go. Good. Nice job. Good. Okay, that's okay. Okay, Priscilla, so we're going to do the same thing. You're going to keep your knee nice and soft, and I get to pick the direction, okay? Okay. And we're going to have someone throw the ball to you. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. A couple of ball tosses first. Good, and then we'll get going. Here we go. Good. Good. Stay nice and soft in the knee. Good. Okay, Priscilla. So your feet are going to be evenly apart so that when you stand on the board with gently soft knee, just like that, good, that the board doesn't scoot away. That's very nice. All right, so we're going to do the different directions. We're going to go front to back first, side to side, and then left right rotation. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Front. Good. Back. Left. Right. Rotate left. Good correction. Rotate right. Good. And now let's do diagonals. Keep those knees soft. That's good. Front left. Front right, back right, good, back left, very good. 
So Andrew, as you've done before, you're going to stay nice and even between the boards, nice even weight. You're going to stay looking straight ahead, and I'm going to perturb the board with kind of varying force and varying speed, okay? okay. In unexpected directions, so you have to be ready for anything. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, don't over contract. Just meet my force, don't beat my force. Okay, a little softer in the knee. That's it. Okay, now we're going to do some combined movements. So sometimes you're going to feel a diagonal push and a rotation at the same time. I want you to respond in the same way. Meet, don't beat my force. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And relax. So, Andrew, the same principles, soft knee between, between the boards. And even though the boards are staggered, same principles. I want you to meet, don't beat my force. And now that we're going to be integrating some of the racquetball activities, just make sure you don't over contract. You can start. Whoa, Andrew, over contracting there a little bit. Make sure your, your legs are even between the boards. Good. Now we're going to introduce some diagonals, right? Okay. Good. Okay, let the muscles relax after you've done. There you go. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do, Andrew, is I'm going to force you kind of into a, a quick balance response. I'm going to do a quick jerk forward and back. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So see how the hip strategy is coming, or see how the strategy is coming from above. We really want more specific reaction around the knee. And so if you perturb them forward and wait for the muscle contraction to relax and then pull them backward, then you're actually eliciting the specific muscle response. Same thing when you do rotations or diagonals. Soften the knee just a bit. Good. I'm going to do quick rotations. Okay. Again, more of a balanced reaction than a specific muscle response. So again, good. Good. Okay. And relax. So Andrew, go ahead and go on one leg. And then kind of pinch your legs together as if to balance. So some patients will attempt to keep their balance by pinching the legs together. Can't have that. Then go ahead and relax. And then do the toe touching kind of balance. So again, if you do a, a strong perturbation and they are kind of toe touching, it could be one of two things. Either they haven't got the right strategy or perhaps you're doing too much force or, or um, too quickly to generate the specific response. Okay, so another problem is um, overshooting. Number one, when you're pushing the board forward, you're looking for some posterior musculature to fire. If you don't wait for that response, or if you're not careful about eliciting that response, you can cue, you can cue his muscles to overshoot. And so if I'm pushing the board forward, and I get a nice response back, he pulls the board back into the original position. 
if I do too much or I let him overshoot, I push the board forward and then he pulls it back and it actually translates posteriorly. Okay, so for a delayed response, even when you're getting particularly, particularly into the higher force and um, higher speed um, perturbations, sometimes you'll be perturbing the board and they won't respond at all and you have to be able to recognize that. So for instance, a side-to-side -side motion is particularly difficult for these patients. So if I perturb the board this way and he doesn't catch it until I've moved it several inches, you know, I'm, I'm basically perturbing it too great and in, in too great a force and I probably need to restrict my motion until he understands the response to that perturbation. So again, Andrew, I'll just push it out to the side. Okay, and he's not catching that. So that board would continue to go. So I just want him to catch the board if I move it about an inch or two inches. Good. Some of the problems you'll run into when you're first introducing a patient to the combination roller board and stationary platform is that when they get set up, the important thing to do is kind of let the board go a little bit and see how their um, distribution of weight is, which you can often tell is, go ahead and shift your weight to the left. The board starts to slide. That's really indicative of an uneven weight shift, and they're, they're just not distributing the weight between the boards properly. Okay, and as a therapist, I'm starting to feel that he's slowly kind of moving the board away, and you can see that the contraction in the back of this knee is really working hard on this leg and not doing what he's supposed to on this. Just kind of bring him back to center, let him realign, leave the board alone for a second, make sure he's good position, and then you can start the perturbations again. Another problem that the therapist will have is in trying to kind of induce the specific muscle response, they'll get a little overzealous and start perturbing too quickly and with too high an amplitude um, in multiple directions. And so um, this is called chasing, where the therapist is basically getting ahead of themselves and not allowing the proper response. Here we go. So the board is moving too freely and I am not getting a specific response, okay? You see how the board is kind of scooting, it's also drifting away. Um, so that is obviously